This is the American Southwest. It's a desolate, rough, and rugged environment. The hottest of the North American deserts. This is not the place you want to be stranded. Looks like I got a flat tire. The situation can happen to anyone, and it's good to be prepared to know what to do if this case shall arise. So, I just bought this mountain bike a few weeks ago, and I'm not going to destroy it. But for the purpose of this demonstration and this situation, I brought a busted up old flat tire. What I'm going to do is I'm going to strip down the parts I can use from the tire and the bike and then I'm going to find myself some shelter and move out of this hot sun. Good thing I always keep my backpack filled with equipment I'm going to need for the entire weekend. I keep a multi-tool in my backpack at all times so I can use these pliers and bolt cutters on the inside. Hopefully they're sharp enough. I'm gonna take apart the wheel. So I'm gonna start by doing, strip this wheel off the frame. Just like that, it's easier than I thought it was gonna be. And I'm gonna take the hose out of it. Now this hose can come in really good handy because I can use it to make a slingshot and hopefully catch some food with it. I can cut it up into sections and I can also burn it to set a signal fire to try and find rescue. Well, I noticed that there is a reflector right here on the bike wheel. So that can come in really great handy to signal at airplanes that pass by. So I'm definitely gonna keep that. You can definitely see how it's already working a little bit there. So. That'll come in great handy. Oh, I already got poked. Ah. Little bugger. The next step is to get out of this hot sun because I'm sweating and I'm losing a lot of liquids. So I'm gonna try to find a shady spot to get a shelter going. And the sun's going down a lot faster than I thought. And the temperatures can drop below freezing out here sometimes. So. I'm going to need to get a fire lit and I'm going to set up some traps to show you guys how that would work just in case you're in a situation with a flat tire 15 miles out and the sun's going down. Set up camp for the night. A hundred thousand square foot of dry, desolate, sweltering terrain. Feels nice to be out of the sun though. Can't rest for long. I got a shelter to make and a fire to start before that sun goes down and I start shivering. I've already got twigs and sticks all stuck in my hair. Now that I got my shelter all set up and somewhat ready to go, I'm gonna get, try to get started on a fire because that's gonna be most important. The temperatures in the desert can rise and then drop during the night and make you freeze and shake and shiver and hypothermia is definitely an issue out here, especially when you're sweating and your sweat dries on you. So it's very good to wear lots of layers. So I have a tank top and a long sleeve shirt on and I have some warmer clothes in my pack. When I go out mountain biking and I know I'm in the middle of nowhere, I am always prepared for the worst. And that's how you should be. You should always bring enough water, enough food, enough clothing. You always bring fire starting materials and that's just what I do. So I have a nice solid clump of steel wool, handy dandy Kozak fire starting kit. It includes two batteries, flint and a cotton string. 
which I can use the cotton to shred up so I can help start the fire. Matches in a waterproof case. What you want to do is just stretch it. Make it nice and fluffy and airy and light. What I also have is a tampon. I'm going to shred it apart and use the cotton for fuel. Really compact. Wow. There we go. Now I got it. Ask any girl. I bet they've never started a fire using their tampon. I can guarantee it. I'm going to make the connection so that the current is flowing properly. All you have to do is connect two to the end. There we go. See it's starting to light. Blow just gently. Yeah, there we go. There's a lot of animal poop over here. Maybe I'll catch some dinner. All right, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a trap if you were out here longer than just one night and you needed some food. This is a four point deadfall trap. So it's a small game trap. You whittle this one so it can sit flat on the ground. You whittle this one into like a little curved point and then you have this little notch here and what happens is you put the heavy rock here you rub your bait material here and the animal comes along nibbles here and then what happens is it traps the animal four point deadfall trap and my noose knot spring release trap and I am going to set them up and show you how they work and what you do is you tie a string around this little notch here and a string around this little notch here. This one is connected to a heavy rock here. This one is connected to a branch that you pull down. When the animal comes through and it gets stuck in the noose and it pulls it, these snap away and this flings up and your animal goes with it. It's getting really cold. And I do have an extra jacket with me. This way I can sleep warm and comfortably through the night. Oh, it's already better. So, day one, hot, exhausting, long. I set some traps. Hopefully I get some breakfast. So now I have nothing to do but just wait and hopefully get some sleep. So in the morning, I can try to hike out of here and find some rescue. <sighs> Night one. Here we go. See, I let my fire go out. It's getting hotter out now. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go check my traps just to see if I got anything. And then I'm gonna start my hike home. Looks like it's still set and I didn't get anything. I'm gonna take my materials with me because I don't want to litter. I'm gonna start my journey home and my hike home. So I'm gonna pack up my stuff and I'm only gonna take what I need and I'm gonna get going. I'm Jordan Freed and uh, that was my first night alone in a survival situation. So, hope you guys can learn something. Mm -hmm.